rise and shine, I guess. That was a good sleep. Straighten things up, make a little brekkie, coffee, and then I got off to the enchanted forest. Coffee's already it's a percolating. Oh yeah. And breakfast is served. Um, I don't eat a lot in the morning. So what I'm having is uh, chicken salad with crackers. Does me just fine. We got a little news on. So I'm gonna have a coffee, my little breakfast here. And uh, mm, good stuff. Then we'll hit the road. Good. Just gonna be leaving the Fairmont Hot Springs. Then about a four hour drive to the Enchanted Forest. Get my coffee. So the van was very comfy. I had a good sleep last night. No noise, no dogs barking. Kind of off to the edge of the of the site here at Fairmont. A little more privacy. Yeah, so all's going well. And really getting things organized in the van. That's the, when you're living in a van, there's not as much room as a house, obviously. So you got to uh, keep things organized, keep it in the right spot. But so far, I think it's all coming together. Plenty of food, plenty of water. It's running well. So we'll carry on. Day three of the one in 10 day adventure. Kind of got a little more time, but I'm going to aim for 10 days. That way uh, there's a buffer. I don't like to rush where I'm going somewhere. I take my time. Only cruise at about 9,500, you know, no point speeding. So I'll pack up and uh, finish my breakfast and uh, catch you on the next clip. Just parked at the main entrance. Thought I'd come up and check this out. Nice view. I think it's kind of hoodoo, a little building here. I'll go down and see what that is. But look at this little stream running down. And it's, uh, oh yeah, nice and warm. Got these two little pools. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice, eh? Could lay in there. Look at all the minerals. Probably good for you. It's like a natural, natural hot tub. A little hole here. I'm not sure if it's man made or not. Coming out of the ground, we got hot spring. Let's go check out that building. This is viewing only. Please respect this historical site. Look at that. It looks like they had sauna baths in here, eh? Natural, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. People come and relax in here.
Ja, das ist hier ein ja. Dann waren sie auch hier der Bundesinsektor eben. Nice. Nice bathhouse. We're back in the day. Buggy. And that's where it exits. And the guy could easily stay here two or three days and uh, take in the zip line would be cool. I think it's like a two hour tour. Zip line, 1500 feet or something like that. Definitely be on the list for next time. But the main reason I'm parked up here about an hour before checkout because I'm still trying to upload a video. That's the one thing being on the road here. You need some good internet. But even parked by the office it's still pretty slow. It's probably designed that way so people don't, I don't know, use the internet too much. But I upgraded my um, phone with Bell. So I got 75 gigabytes. You know, sounds great, sounds impressive. But still, you gotta be in a good area, and it uploads slow. But, you know. Take what I can. What are we at now for percentage? 13%, who it might make it. If not, we'll upload her later. How much you can do. But in Golden BC, about uh, two hours from my destination for the day. I'm gonna get a few groceries. So, something for dinner, something for breakfast. Save all on savers. Just going through Golden. I think it's about uh, a little over two hours yet. But we'll just keep on vanning and we'll get there.
Pod AMAs, my friend. Rogers Pass. For some reason, there's a slow up here. But uh, hopefully, no accident or anything. Maybe construction. We'll see. Well, getting some challenges in my travels. Now it's getting warm, getting hot on Highway 1. Just go through the Rogers Pass. And this uh, slow traffic and up the hill has uh, heated it up. So I'm pulled over. Going to relax for a while. And then let it cool down and carry on. That's about all I can do. Woohoo! I think I made her. Temperature's good. Made it through all those tunnels, which helped cool it down actually, because it's kind of cool in there. But still got to make it for fuel. Wish me luck. And the beautiful mountains. Still snow covered. I guess the glaciers are melting around the world, but there's still snow up in the mountains. Rogers Pass. Which is a good thing. I tried to use Google there and it freaking uh, sent me to someone that was under construction. It wasn't even a gas station, first off. And got like E on the fuel. And I went right by the turn off to Revelstoke. So then I had to turn around, come back down the hill into Revelstoke. <sighs> Made it. So when traveling, make damn sure you don't get below half. And why do they have those signs when you're driving out of the city or out of the town saying, oh, no fuel for 150 kilometers? Why not let somebody know before the last gas station? Oh, well, it's all my fault. Get some fuel, and uh, I think I might camp around here somewhere. It's been a long day. It's already 4 o'clock. We'll go to the Enchanted Forest tomorrow morning. Fueled up and off to the campsite. I think it's Lighthouse Campsite or something like that. Interesting bridge. It's got lights at the end, so you can only go when it's green. It's basically a one lane bridge. But it should be very close just off of here to the campsite. Okay, made it to the lighthouse campground. It's basically just out of Revelstoke. Not even a kilometer. But the powered site here for uh, $52. It's got all the services, but I only use the power. And yeah, Lighthouse Campground. And then they also had a pamphlet for the Enchanted Forest. Apparently it's only about 25 kilometers away. So I'll get set up and then uh, relax for a bit. Have a shot of something, something. Because that drive was a little stressful. And we got Wi Fi, so I'm going to see if I can upload a video for you. Over and out. Just finishing editing up uh, day two. Uh, the internet turned out to be quite, quite, quite a bit better here at the um, Lamp Lantern Campground. Uh, first, I didn't want to connect to stuff, but uh, it's working well now. 
Anyway, the program I use, if anyone's interested, is uh, Microsoft ClipChap. ClipChap. Microsoft Clip ClipChap. Ugh, tongue twister. But anyway, it works good enough for me. Uh, you can upgrade, but I'm just using the the basic model or uh, program for now. Anyway, see how things go. But I didn't even cook any dinner. I don't even. It's already uh, almost 8 p.m. I think there was a time change along here somewhere. Uh, seems like uh, clocks like clocks have gone an hour one way or the other here. But anyway, uh, yeah, I just want to tell you a little bit about this. Uh, um, lamp lightener lamp lighter campground uh, I'll just read what they have on their little card here Lolo grassy size pull through 15 and 30 amp hookups tent slides free Wi-Fi laundry um, camp kitchen fire pits uh, you select a site uh, heated washrooms volleyball net kids playground and pets welcome. Uh, and that's right in Revelstoke for an address. Here's a little map. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, their website is um, lamplightercampground.com. Anyone from Revelstoke uh, watching? Maybe you know all about this place already. But it seems pretty good. Revelstoke, BC. So that's that. Uh, I'm just going to edit this video. I'll probably upload it tonight or start it anyway. While uh, while I got internet, I might as well use it. And then tomorrow's going to be a pretty busy day. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just going to edit this and relax and hit the sack. And tomorrow I'm going to go. I just googled uh, waterfalls near me, and there's like five of them. So I'm going to go check out some waterfalls, and then I'll stop at the uh, Enchanted Forest. But until then, take care, be safe, dream your dream. Canadian Dreamer, out.